Hello, everyone. Uh, Alabama, they recently underwent a horrible tragedy. I guess there was this horrible uh, crash involving two 18-wheelers, and I guess 10 people died. Uh, nine of them were children. I guess uh, they only identified two of the victims at this very moment. But, um, let's see. It was a 29-year-old father. He was the only adult who died in the crash at this moment. Because one got injured and is recovering in a hospital. It was uh, an adult female. And then I guess the adult male's um, infant daughter died in the crash as well. Uh, less than a year old, I think nine months. Um, and then the rest of the victims were children between the ages of four and 17. I'm pretty sure they're all, uh, I'm pretty sure they're all girls. Um, yeah. National tragedy. And then Alabama, you know, tropical storm clock that affected Alabama as well. And it's, um, in the Carolinas right now. Ooh, I think, you know, it's already brought fatalities. Yeah, um, oh, and then here's this interesting one. I guess, um, there was a tragedy at a Pride Parade down in, I think, Fort Lauderdale, and, um, I, I guess this isn't a hate crime, this is just a tragic accident, but, um, I guess a male, I think 77 years old, I guess, crashed into a pride parade, killing at least one and injuring a couple others. Yeah. Um, and I guess uh, the driver is cooperating with uh, law enforcement. Um, they didn't find any any drugs or alcohol in his system, I guess. I guess he just must have lost control of his vehicle due to road conditions, or maybe it was on his phone, I, I, I'm not sure, I, I, you know, but they're saying that it isn't a hate crime, it's an accident, and, uh, they don't think drugs or alcohol were involved, yeah, um, hmm, what else, what, what else is happening, a lot, a lot of, a lot of deaths, oh yeah, the, I guess, uh, there was this one, uh, hot air balloon crash someplace, injuring, uh, some people. Yeah, a lot of injuries on a dust, but a hot air balloon crash, you know, just, okay, going down, rolling the people that were inside of it, and, yeah, I guess, so, some injuries, you know, the people received some injuries, um... What else is going on? Oh, yeah, we we here, northern Indiana, I think southern Michigan got a pretty bad threat, too. We, we, uh, we actually had severe thunderstorm warnings yesterday, but, and, you know, possible tornadoes, but uh, I guess it was nothing more than just some strong thunder, some strong wind, at least before basically midnight. Um, so, and it's pretty cloudy right now. It looks like it's going to rain today, too. It's only getting up to, like, 70 degrees. Yeah, and then the hottest, and the west, the west is still scorching. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely abnormal weather all around the United States. Um, I think, uh, I think the only region that has, you know, that's lucky to not have a normal weather is the Northeast. I think they're the only region in the United States that's not experiencing extreme weather of some sort right now. Um, what else? What else is happening other than those accidents? Oh, yeah, I guess they were looking for, uh, for a suspect in another shooting. I can't keep track of where. I just know that the shooter... Shot his, uh, you know, the victim was inches away from two children. I think a 10-year-old girl and her 5-year-old brother. Yeah, I, I don't think, you know, that the guy who was next to the children was their father. But, you know, 
Yeah, the shooter's 24 years old. I, yeah. Um, man, too, too many shootings. Too many shootings to keep track of, honestly. Um, what else is happening in this world? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just keep fearing about this Delta variant. Oh, Delta variant's gonna kill us all. No, it is not. It's not even gonna kill the South. You know, they have every right not to get that vaccine. They have every right. The United States cannot legally force anyone to get a vaccine. This thing isn't even approved by the FDA. It was just approved for emergency authorization. It wasn't fully approved by the FDA. So, yeah. Um, vaccine passports are illegal uh, to some capacity uh, here at uh, here in Indiana. I'm I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure how illegal vaccine passports are in this state, but I just know they're illegal um, in some capacity. Um, what else is happening? In this world. Um. Yeah. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. They keep talking about infrastructure. Can't agree on anything. I just know that that infrastructure bill. Cannot be too high. It has to be lower. So that way we can be sure. That it's being all spent. On infrastructure. And not anything. Sneaky, anything slick that the Biden administration might be trying to put in there. Um, gotta be sure it's just infrastructure. And we really do need, uh, an infrastructure bill of some sorts. A low infrastructure bill, of course, because we do have some bridges and some roads that are 50 plus years old and that do need repairs and all of that. Nationwide, you know, like... Where, what are we? There are like 12 states in the, or 12 nations in the world that have better infrastructure than the United States, I guess. So yeah, we do need an infrastructure bill of some sorts, but it needs to be an infrastructure bill and nothing else. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm sure this was another deadly weekend for mass shootings. I, I haven't heard of too many mass shootings specifically this weekend, but I'm sure I'll hear of them soon enough. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. I have got to go now. Bye.